Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing intestinal stem cells. Okay, so we're still in the process of discussing the wind beta catenin pathway. We want to see how stimulation of these intestinal stem cells with wind is going to result in them uh, remaining as intestinal stem cells. Okay, so... Uh, so far, we have seen that when Wnt binds to the frizzled and LRP5 or LRP6 receptor, uh, then uh, what's going to happen is you're going to raise the levels of beta-catenin within the cytoplasm, and the beta-catenin is then going to move into the nucleus. Now, before we discuss what beta-catenin is actually going to do within the nucleus, I want to discuss what is happening within the nucleus before there is any beta-catenin. Okay, and for this, we need to discuss the TCF slash LEF family of transcription factors. And we've discussed that transcription factors are molecules which bind to certain response elements uh, or recognition elements that are present within promoter regions upstream of genes, and they are going to change the uh, likelihood uh, that the downstream gene is going to actually be transcribed by changing the likelihood that RNA polymerase 2 is going to bind to to this promoter region. Okay, so let's now talk about the TCF or LEF family of transcription factors. So firstly, what does TCF and LEF stand for? So TCF stands for T-cell factor. Okay, so T is for T, C is for cell, and then F is for factor. LEF stands for lymphoid enhancer binding factor. Okay, so the L is for lymphoid, uh, the E is then for enhancer, okay, and then it's the lymphoid enhancer binding factor, okay, right, so, um, this family of transcription factors, the TCF-LEF family of transcription factors, it's often now just referred to as the TCF family of transcription factors, and we drop the LEF, okay, now, let me describe the members of this family. So there are four members of this family. There is TCF1, which is the T-cell factor 1. Then there is LEF1, which is the lymphoid enhancer binding factor 1. That effectively takes the place of TCF2, as we'll see in a moment. Then there is TCF3, okay? And then finally, TCF4. So these are the four... Uh, TCF LEF family transcription factors, basically. Okay, so when we say we are talking about a TCF LEF family transcription factor, we mean one of these four here. Okay, now these transcription factors bind to a certain recognition sequence that is present within a huge number of different promoter regions. So let me now show you this sequence of organic bases which these TCF family transcription factors bind to. And I will often just call them TCF family transcription factors rather than TCF LEF family transcription factors. Okay, so the sequence of organic bases is eight organic bases long, okay? So, it consists of a cytosine, followed by another cytosine, followed by three thymines, okay? Thymine, 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 uh, followed by a guanine, and then followed by two Ws. Now, you might be thinking, oh my goodness, what is this? Another organic base that I've never heard of before? No, don't worry. Uh, w um, just means either thymine or adenine, okay? So you need to have thymine or adenine present here. Right, so then let's draw the complementary sequence. Well, the complementary organic base to cytosine is guanine. The complementary organic base to thymine is adenine, okay? The complementary organic base to guanine is cytosine, and then, of course, the complementary organic base to a thymine or an adenine is an adenine or a thymine, so it's a W again, but, of course, they'll be complementary, so if this is a thymine, this one will be an adenine. Okay, right, so this sequence of eight organic bases that we have here, okay, this is the sequence of organic bases which uh, TCF family transcription factors bind to. Okay, and this sequence of eight organic bases has a special name. It's known as the Wnt response element. Okay, um, 
and for short, the Wnt response element is often abbreviated to the WRE. So W for Wnt, R for response, E for element. Okay, so what's going to happen then is a TCF family transcription factor is going to bind to this Wnt response element here. So this is a TCF family or TCF LEF family transcription factor binding here. Okay, so you find this Wnt response element, this sequence of eight organic bases, it's present in a huge number of different promoter regions. And in all of those different promoter regions, you're going to have a TCF LEF family transcription factor bound there all the time. Okay, right. So this is even before you've got any beta catenin around. Now, we'll see that when beta catenin is present, it's going to bind on top of the TCF LEF family transcription factor. However, when beta catenin is not present, a different protein is going to get to bind on top of this TCF slash LEF family transcription factor. Okay, so the protein that's going to bind here is what's known as a Groucho slash TLE family um, protein. Okay, and again, this is not just one protein. There are many different proteins that are all put in this family of Groucho TLE family proteins. Okay, so I'll write that out again because it doesn't show up particularly well um, once I've coloured it in like that. So these are Groucho slash TLE proteins. Okay, and it's an entire family of proteins. Uh, that can all bind on top of that uh, TCF LEF transcription factor once it's bound to the Wnt response element. Okay, now you might be wondering what does TLE stand for? Well, it stands for transducin like enhancer of split proteins. Okay, so the T is for transducin. Okay, the L is for like, and then the E is for enhancer. So it's the transducin like enhancer and then it's of split proteins. Okay, right. Um, so, um, 